on, honey. Yeah, yo, what's up? I'm Coco Got Boss. Weather's getting kind of tiny, chip with the sauce. Weather's kind of getting rough, but it's okay, man. You know what I mean? Like, I'm the captain of this ship, man. And like, I always, you know what I'm saying, deliver. But, yo, man, talk about uh, thirsty motherfuckers, man. Yo, black man gets criticized for being thirsty. And that's true. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, man. Um, you know, black man is like, you know, thirsty motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, cats be, you know, fucking all these black bitches, man. They look like fucking animals, man. You know what I mean? I know y'all mad at me. And y'all be like, oh, yo, man, you supposed to love the black woman, the Nubian, whatever. You know what I'm saying? The more, the goddess, the damn, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Eve and shit. You know what I'm saying? But like, yo, man. Yo, man, Eve is shameless, you know what I'm saying, Eve, you know what I'm saying, look like, yo, just to be honest, man, a lot of them look like water buffalo, man, you know what I'm saying, and, yo, y'all can get mad at me all you want, but I ain't fucking with them, yo, all y'all, y'all can keep them Gabrielle Cinebades, man, I'll wait, you know what I'm saying, you know, y'all, y'all can, y'all fuck with me about that shit, but yeah, black man, you know what I'm saying, is thirsty, man, you know what I mean, and, uh, he'll, he'll, a black man, in America would pass up uh, a Latina, you know what I'm saying, that looks like J-Lo, or just, you know, any average, he'll, he'll pass up, he won't fuck with her, you know what I'm saying, because he gotta stay loyal to a damn 500 pound malt liquor jello booty ass ghetto bitch with fucking camel hair in her fucking head and shit. You know what I mean? Because he gotta be with a black bitch. He gonna talk to all that Umar Johnson bullshit, man. Snoopy and Kwee Kwee Hotel motherfucker shit, you know what I'm saying? We gotta raise our sisters! Sisters, sisters, shit. He like, sister, yo, go jog it. You know what I'm saying? Go lose the weight. Hell no. Nah. Pass me a beer, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, like, motherfucking black man is thirsty. I, I get it. I'm on, alright? But, but, hands down. The thirstiest motherfucker on the planet is is Asian man, Japanese. Now, the difference is, man, Japanese dudes, right, only would be thirsty for their own women and shit, which is, you know, you would want to say that's honorable. But the thing is, man, in actuality, you know, the Japanese, and I'm gonna say most Asian dudes in general, particularly, you know, what I'm saying the the big three. The, uh, the, the, uh, Korean and the Japanese and the Taiwanese. Yeah, not the regular Chinese. I'm talking about that Taiwanese. You know what I mean? They motherfuckers, they want to get, they want to get with a white bitch, actually. You know what I'm saying? But they can't get with no white bitch because white bitch, you know what I'm saying, want to be with a black brother or <laughs> whoever got, the, whoever got the biggest dick or the biggest money. That's who the white bitch wanna be with. That's it. Okay? So nowadays, you know what I'm saying, Japanese dudes gonna get, you know, they you know, he they get kinda of ballsy because, you know what I mean, these second hand uh ugly white bitches is coming over here, you know, giving them pussy now. See back in the day it wasn't really like that man, because like back in the day bitches like Lucy Blackman and all them other white bitches that was doing hostesses, you know what I'm saying? They was coming over here dick-teasing Japanese dudes and giving them all that money. But you see where that got Lucy Blackmon. Lucy Blackmon is like Campbell Soup in the ocean somewhere, all right? Fucking with Joe Taro Japanese, man. Shit. Japanese dudes like, fuck that. You ain't gonna keep dick-teasing me, bitch. Here, take some of this damn narcotic, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Draw that bitch, and next thing you know, that bitch is like, whatever, chunky, Did chunky soup and shit, what? Did he rape? Oh, you know he raped that bitch, man. He, um. he got all kinds of nuts off on that hoe. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, her parents came over here talking about, you must find my daughter. I don't care what you do. Stop everything you're doing and go find my white daughter, you Japanese monkey. And shit. And the <laughs> Japanese people did that shit too, man. They were Japanese. Oh, yes, sir. Yes. I, I saw this. I, oh, okay. We'll do it. we do it. Yeah. And he found that bitch. And then, now you must prosecute the man. Whatever. 
Fuck it, man. Y'all, y'all look at all the shit on YouTube. I ain't talking about that. But like, the thing is, man, yeah, Japanese dudes thirsty. But like now, nowadays, man, you know, they ballsy. They, they, they think they the shit now. They the shit in it now. Cause like these big foot ass Australian bitches, and you know, you know, bitches don't really even look good. They just white and shit. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna front though. You know. They might look better than the average trailer trash white bitch from America. And you know, some of them damn uh, Russian, Russian bitches look kind of good, but then the majority of them, man, don't look that good. And they, they kind of smell bad under the armpits. You know what I'm saying? They might, you might get a Russian bitch and she look hella good, whatever, right? Real good looking. And then the bitch gonna have a fucking armpit odor. And you be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? You, yo, you fucking white people, y'all supposed to be the greatest and shit. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck, man? How the fuck you gonna be like, you know, not using no deodorant and shit. You know what I'm saying? Or they be like having hairy arms like the French bitches. You know what I'm saying? Hairy and shit. <laughs> be like, damn, I thought y'all was the best. Shit. Y'all, y'all supposed to be all the best. Bitch, you smell funky. You know what I mean? And white people funk smell different from black people funk, right? But, the, but, the, but, the, but the Japanese dudes, they be happy regardless of which one that they was with. They don't give a damn. They was, yo, the bitch is white. Fuck it. She like a snow princess, man. She like a Disney, Disney queen and shit. And them motherfuckers be prancing around with that bitch. I mean, that bitch. You know, and, and you know, to have kids with her and everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Nut all up in her. Then he roll up on, he roll up on brothers, be like, yeah, 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 like you know, whatever shit. Talking shit like he the Mac, shit. You know what I mean? But yeah, but but Japanese dudes is thirsty, man. Um, like I'm gonna to all the brothers out there, man. You know what I mean? If you if you come to Japan, this is, this is a message for brothers, right? Yeah. And like you know, brothers, you don't have to listen to me. Absolutely not. You don't have to listen to me because y'all know everything. So uh, you know, y'all, you know, don't listen to me. But I'm just gonna say this one thing, man. You come to Japan, man. Don't make too many um, friends that do, alright? Because you know you're gonna end up getting screwed over, man. There was this dude, man, one time, right? And um. You know, he didn't speak Japanese as good as he thought he did, right? He thought, you know what I'm saying, because he could speak a few sentences in Japanese and he knew how to read a little bit of uh, katakana and shit, that his Japanese was fantastic because, you know, like, if you're in America and you speak Japanese a little bit and you, and you practice it on some Japanese people, they're going to shower you with compliments that to the point where it gas your head up like balloon helium. You know what I mean? They'll be like, oh, it's so good. Your Japanese is good. And shit. And you be like, really? Oh, shit. Cool. I'm ready to go to Japan and conquer the country and shit. So then you go to Japan and shit. Like this dude did. He came over here. He knew a little about animation and shit. So, then, you know, he's thinking this shit. Yeah, I know Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Watashi wa Mary Kajin desu. Watashi ga St. Louis. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. All right, this motherfucker get up in the club one night, and uh, you know he got this bitch, he got this fine little girl with him, fine little piece of ass with him, right? He ain't hit it yet, you know what I'm saying? They still friends, shit, but I guess he's gonna, he, he's about to come on strong with his rap and shit, right? Okay, next thing you know, uh, you know he's chilling with his boy at the table, some uh, Japanese dude that he he knew the guy because he had been to that spot before, and uh, the dude name was Manabu or whatever, right? Manabu, you know, rolled up to him like he knew him and shit. He's like, hey, hey, what's up? What's up, man? What's up? I'm going to say the boy name was Joe, okay? The dude's okay. name was Joe, all right? Okay. Or Jake or something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, Joe, you know what I'm saying, was like, you know, acting like, yeah, man, me and Manabu, we cool, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is my Japanese friend, Manabu, and shit, and, uh, so, yeah, Manabu, whatever, was talking to him, and, you know, like, while he was out, oh, man, it's just nice, but anyway, out, while, you know, while he was with this girl, so, while Joe goes to the bathroom, you know what I'm saying, whatever, drain the lizard, whatever, right, 
Manabu is at the table with his bitch, with that bitch that he ain't even fuck yet, right? He's telling the girl, yo, man, this guy Joe, he been in, yo, this the, you the third girl he been in here this week. He was with two other, he was, every time he come here, he with a different girl. Matter of fact, he came here two days ago, he was with another girl. He got a lot of girlfriends. He got a lot of girlfriends. And so, of course, this bitch is like, oh, shit, I don't want to be with no damn playboy and shit. You know what I'm saying? And then Manavu was like, but you know what? I'm single, baby. How about I just give you, you don't need to be hanging out with no dudes like that. As a matter of fact, one of the girls he was with, I think she's a loose girl herself. As a matter of fact, she got a disease. He might be fucking some girl that got a disease, I think. Probably got AIDS or something, and, you know, all kinds of shit. The, the stories run the gamut of like, yeah, he want to be with a Japanese girl because he want to stay in Japan and get a visa and shit. Whatever the story he told the bitch, he spooked her out. And then, uh, you know, by the time my man came back from the bathroom, all right, the girl was like, oh, I'm sorry, Joe, but uh, I just got a call from my sister. I got to go meet her, whatever. I got to leave early. I'm sorry. And then he's like, and, you know, Joe's like, really? Oh, baby. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, okay, well, see you next time. And shit. So she left the spot. Not, not knowing Manabu, whatever, left the spot, too, a little bit after that because he was beating her. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, took the bitch and then, you know what I'm saying, you know, went on a date with her and had a drink with her in some other spot on the same night, okay? And then, you know, of course, he finds out about, he finds out about this maybe two or three months later and shit, where he go back to the same spot and see that bitch, you know what I'm saying, when Manabu, you know what I'm saying, at the same bar he came to, all right? So the whole moral of the story, ladies and gentlemen, or fellas, you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of times, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need to be trusting these J dudes too that much, man. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing really, man. They can be friends with you about unless, you know what I'm saying, they teaching you some necessary shit that's beneficial to you being in this country, man. And what I mean by that is, like, you know, they either teaching you Japanese or they showing you how to do something. Like, if you need help with something that you can't do by yourself, and then, you know, like, you ask that dude to like, help you, you know, like, for example, move furniture or something like that. If you're moving, then, man, you motherfuckers ain't, you know, got, no, got none of your uh, best interests at heart. And I'm sorry I have to put it to you that way. But, um, you know, until now, man, you know, I really have to be totally honest, man. You know what I mean? Because um, out of all the people, like, since, since I've been in Japan, all the damn Japanese. Ah, I'm sorry. What that mean? I heard it from you, Akamatsu. What, Takamatsu or Akamatsu? Ah, chica, Akamatsu. Yeah, I, well, anyway, yeah. But, you know, my point is, man, you know, all the time Japanese dudes be like, um, I like Brack music, I like Brack music, I like Brack music shit. All Japanese people tell you they like black music, right? Yeah. When the, and if you're a musician, when the last time a fucking Japanese person, you know, try to do some music collaboration with you? They will almost never do that shit, man. They only want to work with, like, white people and shit. You know what I mean? Like, like that group, uh, what's the group? Magic Monkeys or some shit? What's that? Yeah, yeah Magic Monkeys. like that. Yeah, Magic Monkeys. That's like a white and Japanese group, man. And they... Fuck! <laughs> and what's the other group? Death Tech. Death Tech is like uh, a white boy who sounds terrible. White boy and a Japanese rap group and shit. Death Tech. The worst garbage I ever heard in my fucking life. And they sound so bad, man. I wanna, I wanna have them killed, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Seriously, man. And, and it's, it's illegal to murder somebody. But, like, they sound so bad, man, that, like, if I met the motherfucker, man, in Japan somewhere, man, I'd be ready to headbutt him, man. You know what I'm saying? And, like, you know, just, like, beat up everybody in their group, man. 
And like people buy that shit, man. They play that shit on the radio. And they ain't the only ones, man. You know what I'm saying? But like, they ain't got no group. They hardly had, they signed for this other group, uh, Soul Asylum. There was hardly no group that had like black and Japanese people working together. Exile don't really count because Naismith, you know what I'm saying? Naismith, you know what I'm saying? I guess. He don't, he don't really, I don't know, man. He never really came out and openly, you know what I'm saying, we spoke about his black side shit, but, you know, still, man, you know, when, when he was with Chemistry, when he was with Chemistry, they kicked him out the group and shit. They kicked him out the group and kept them two punk ass. He's a black man, right? Oh, no, nah, like, Naismith? Yeah, Naismith is black. I mean, technically, he Judah because... Um, his father's, uh, I guess, a black American. I don't know if he's black American or not, but I know his and father's his black. Huh? His mother's Japanese, right? Uh, his mother's Japanese, right? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, his mother's Japanese. His mother's Japanese, but, you know what I'm saying? But it goes by the seed of the father. Or by, by the biblical, you know, whatever, right? So, yeah, man, you know, he's Judah technically, right? But, you know, of course, you know, the Japanese motherfuckers fired him and kept them uh, other two punk-ass faggot motherfuckers in the group. At first, they was fronting all that black shit, wearing their Yankee cap sideways, wearing do-rags and shit. What the fuck a Japanese dude wear a do-rag for, man? You know what I mean? Like, you know, Japanese motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, do everything black people do. And if he can't, if you can't do everything black people do, then they'll say, oh, that's strange. That's weird. That's strange. Oh, you strange. That's strange. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's because you can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they could do it, if they could grow dreads and shit like that, then it'd be cool then. But if they can't do it, oh, it's strange. That's weird and shit. You know what I mean? But, yo, but back to the topic, man. Japanese dudes is thirsty. They the thirsty it. You know what I'm saying? And, like, they only want the bitch that's with you shit. You know what I'm saying? If you go to a cookout and shit, or you go to the beach, it'd be like a hundred thousand girls there and shit, and you a black dude and shit, a Japanese dude only want the girl that you came with. Shit. Yo, that's the truth, man. Yo, so he only want that bitch. It'd be like a bunch of beautiful girls naked and shit, you know what I'm saying, with big titties and bikinis and shit. And, like, you come there with one Japanese girl, with, you know what I'm saying? She could even be a nerd with glasses and shit. Now, all Japanese dudes want to come fuck with her. Shit, they want her. Shit. You know what I mean? So that's just the way it goes, bros. Maybe you know they saying? thought if, if, uh, if he can like, uh, if, if, he, if she can like a black man, she can like them too. Yeah, well, you know, of course, yeah, because, you know, a person, a girl... Who, who, who like date another person, another ethnicity in Japan, I guess she was, you know, she's considered to have, um, you know, an open mind or yeah, something like yeah. that. So she, she's that kind of person. She's, you know, but, uh, she's a well-rounded yeah. person. But, I know. I, in my experience, you know, they think if I, if I have a black boyfriend, they think I'm easy to get, you know. They, then they're asking, are you doing it? Are you doing it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's another Stop thing. It, no, that's true, but, but men do that shit too. Men do that shit too. Really? Yeah, yeah. Um, Cause like, um, like one time, man, this, this person shall remain nameless. All right. But, um, Almost oh, no oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, um, this person should remain nameless, but like one time, man, I was uh, with uh, him and his wife, and we was riding on the bicycles and shit, right? And uh, we stopped at this damn convenience store to get something to drink, and um, uh, this Japanese motherfucker, he kind of like an older man and shit, and then he was like, uh, you know, hey, why, he said to that girl, he said to the Japanese girl, he's like, why you with, you know, why you with those kurumbos or whatever, right? Why you with those niggas and shit? And she was like, yeah, well, you know, this is my, this is my husband, this is my, um, this is my, um, this is his uh, cousin shit. She said in Japanese. That time I couldn't understand what they were saying. But then later she was like, that man's like, oh, well, you like those guys. Let's get together and have a foursome then. He actually said that shit to him, right? Uh, let's have a foursome. 
Man, how come every time I make a video, man, this motherfucking thing go off? No, there's a camera reading our skit. Alright. Alright, anyway. Yeah, man. That motherfucker actually said that shit. So, like, yeah, man, they don't have no damn respect, man. Now, see, later she told us, but see, that's why I was like, 